Hey guys, I wanted to make this very important video covering the differences between VO3 and Sora 2, currently the two strongest video models on the market. The most important two models when it comes to creating AI advertisements and AI viral content. Both companies are extremely good, but their pricing models, how the system works, all that is extremely confusing. So this is gonna be a very unfiltered video going over the differences between Sora 2 and VO3, and in specific, the Google Ultra AI plan, which is normally $250 a month, and then the ChatGPT Pro plan, which is normally $200 a month, and all the features you get, and the pros and cons between the two models. Because in my community, we have 1,500 people, and I just wrapped up a live call that was two hours long where we discussed all these things, and publicly, I think a lot of people are confused or don't even understand. Even I learned something new on that call. But in this video, I just wanted to cover the most important stuff about the pricing models and how the models work and what model you should use for what type of project because they're both really good, but they both have upsides and downsides. All right, before we get started, let me show you a video from both models. Here's the first one. We have Sora 2. This was generated with my account on the pro plan. It's 15 seconds. It's on the high quality Sora 2 Pro model that you only have access to with that $200 subscription. I'm going to be playing it now. This is from a little bakery down the block. It's yeah. crispy on the edges, Looks soft like in the middle, kind of perfect. I usually go for oatmeal, but these chocolate chips smell too good. Looks like a classic. Do you judge a cookie more on texture or flavor? Texture first. If it crunches like a cracker, I'm out, but then the chocolate has to be gooey, not chalky. Oh. Okay, so my initial response with this is it looks insanely realistic. You have the watermark, which is a little bit of an issue. The physics of her eating the cookie is a little bit whack, but 99% of this looks extremely realistic. Now let me play the video I had generated right here. This is from VO3 Fast Model for reference, and I'm just going to be playing it. Do you think VO or Sora is better for creating advertisements? You should definitely watch Adrian's new YouTube video to get the full breakdown. And you can see that video is pretty good, but if you watch it on a large screen, you'll notice that certain actions that the people make and the voices are a little bit off and it's maybe not as high quality as Sora. But ultimately, I think VO3 is a lot more usable of a model. And if I had to subscribe to one of the two today, I would highly recommend the Google Ultra plan. And I'll go into why now. Okay, now let's dive into Google and VO3. So they have these two membership plans and they also have their API. For the API, I recommend using Key AI. The link will be in the description. You could generate VO3 videos for about 30 cents per video. And the other API models on Fallon and all that are way, way more expensive, and I don't think it's worth it. Now let's get into these subscriptions. These are the subscriptions that give you the most value for your buck. We have the AI Pro if you want to start. Um, one more caveat, these are based on the US. I highly recommend you VPN in and create a Google US account and do this on their US platform. In other countries, this may not be available or will be available at different prices. We have Google AI Pro, which is $20 per month. That's gonna get you roughly $20 worth of credits and each VO3 fast generation is gonna cost you about 20 cents. So you'll be able to generate about 100 VO3 fast videos using this plan and you can easily do that within an hour or two. Then we have the Google AI Ultra plan. This is the one that even I was intimidated to purchase, but you get it for 125 for the first three months and you can make more Google accounts if you need to. This one, I think you get a ton of value. So a lot of the stuff is in flow. You get basically unlimited nano banana. You get a bunch of storage, YouTube premium. So they're bundling a lot of stuff. There's a lot of value in here. And the most important thing is on the flow editor, VO3 fast, you can do unlimited. You can make unlimited four at a time. You can even do more than four if you submit more. You can do absolutely unlimited VO3 fast generations. So that's where you're gonna get all the value. You could do the quality ones too, and you could do roughly, I think about 200 of those per month. So the reason why I say this is, I think this is the highest value, is generating as many of these as possible. If you have a lot of clients, if you need to make a lot of viral videos, 
this will get you. Now that I've explained this pricing model, you can understand why this is the highest value that I think you get. And now I'm gonna switch to ChatGPT's plans. Okay, and for ChatGPT on the Sora app, everything is the same for everyone on the free plans. You could do unlimited generations for free, so they're really good about that. But the main thing here is the pro plan. I just got this yesterday. The pro plan is what changes the quality on your Sora. Once you have the pro plan, you can use the Sora 2 Pro model. You can go up to 15 seconds and you can make it HD. However, everything done with the pro plan and the free plan in the app, whether it's a desktop or the phone, will have a watermark. The only way to not have a watermark is to use their API. And these are the prices. So effectively, you'll be generating videos that will cost you, if you want the highest quality, $6 per video. So you can see, you really only need to do like 40 videos per month before you get a better deal with the subscription here. But the only upside to using the API and paying as you go is you don't have the watermarks, but there are ways to remove them. And I'm gonna be looking into even better ways than the one I showed in my last video because of how important this really is. The pro version is really cool, but now I'm gonna get into the limitations of the specific models so you'll understand why most people, at least in my community, are still using VO3. Definitely don't regret getting this platform here. I still think there's value in it, but when it comes to everyone, I highly recommend you go with a Google subscription, at least for all the features you get now. This may change in the future. Okay, here I am on the desktop version of Sora. The first thing I had to say, this website was spaghetti coded, meaning, it is so laggy. I use it in Safari because it's a little bit better, but the website is terrible to deal with. It's just insanely slow and laggy, and it's really hard to get prompts out. And the reason why that's important is because you can only access Sora 2 Pro from the website. You can't do it from the app for some reason. Even though your high quality videos will show in the app, you have to do them here. And the only difference is when you have the $200 plan, you could then go to high. You can use Pro instead of regular there and then you can go up to 15 seconds. When it comes to generating stuff on Sora 2, you can give it an image to get inspiration from, but to be honest, this is this feature is like really bad. It's nowhere as good as VO. It doesn't like reference the per the thing in the photo. You cannot put a person in the photo. If it detects a face in the photo you upload, it will not allow you to make an AI video. To have a face, you need a cameo. To do a cameo, you need to personally film yourself for like five seconds on your phone. And in my opinion, the cameo sometimes is good, but oftentimes just is absolute garbage, especially if you use multiple of them. Only people like Sam Altman's cameo, you know, work very consistently, I've noticed. And, you know, these are huge limitations. So basically, I go to my account right here, I'll go to this video right here, and you can see that it looks really realistic, but you have this watermark because I did in the app. So the only way to get rid of the watermark would either be to remove it or generate this through the API, and then maybe the video is bad and you already spent $6. So it's a little bit annoying. The characters are not good. The images you base it are not good. The only thing you can really do is generate completely new scenes. So like these characters look good because they don't exist in real life. And for most of the use cases in my group, people wanna put their product or an image of themselves or someone at their company into the video and Sora is not good at that. So I'm just gonna put that out there, just very obviously state that fact and then show you how it works in VO3. Okay, here we are in VO3 and the most important feature really <clears throat> is this frames to video. So when I hit plus here, I can use, for example, this image of two people as my starting frame, and the video will start based on that. So I'll play part of a clip right here. Hey, quick question. What's your favorite local spot around here? So basically, you have entire control of what happens. In Sora, you can't do the first frame, so you have very little control. It's not great at doing products. You can only do people if you have a cameo and access to them. And there's a lot of issues with it. Like with this, you can fine tune exactly what you're wearing and stuff like that. Like you cannot do that in Sora. So for example, I use this image quite a bit and I could do talking videos of me. So all in all, all I'm trying to get at is VO3 is a lot more production ready. Not to mention when you send out a prompt on this, it takes like 20 seconds versus 
on Sora, it, Sora 2 Pro, like the highest resolution, will take like easily 20 to 30 minutes. And this can generate four at a time. Like I'm just saying and kind of rambling here that VO3 is way more production ready. And if you're actually trying to make ads today for companies, I highly recommend you use VO3 over Sora 2. Granted, I don't think it's a waste of money to subscribe. I think what we mentioned in the group too is if you are super into this stuff, like I would be subscribed to both and I would be prompting hundreds of videos a day. That's really where we are here in the cycle and how to take advantage and make money. And if you want to know more about that, obviously my school, it's my only product associated with my YouTube channel. You can get in now for $25 a month or around half off if you do the annual plan. The price is definitely going to be going up soon. And the reason for that is in the classroom, there's substantially more videos. I've been publishing videos almost every single day in here. And you can also get access to the live session archive and join the live sessions where we have a group of people that discusses everything that happened over the last week and how to use these tools to make money, get clients, create ads, all that good stuff. So if you want to join, I highly recommend you do it soon. Because like I said, the price is going to be going up soon. Thank you all for watching. I hope this will provide a ton of value to everyone that's making this the, <clears throat> to everyone that's making the decision of what tools to get. And I'll see you guys later.